I would like now to ask Ms. Alexandra Mikkelham to give the valedictory address. Thank you. Hey graduates, how are you feeling? Yeah. A little tired, a little hungry, probably a little re relieved? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Don't worry about it, we're gonna get you out of here soon. Uh, I just wanted to say before I started, uh, thank you very much to everyone who's organized this event today. Um, for the audience that's here, I, you don't see it, but there is like a small army of people working behind the scenes and they're doing an amazing job. So I just wanted to give them a round of applause before we moved on. Not an easy task. And I also have to say the last time I saw you guys was in April around exams. Man, you clean up well. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Hebert, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Fish, Dina Sif, distinguished guests and participants, proud parents, and fellow students. Bienvenue, Madame et Monsieur, et merci d'être venu à cette journée très spéciale. I am proud to address you today on behalf of the graduating class of 2016. Four years ago, we embarked on a journey. We left behind schools and some of us careers. Many of us traveled from other countries, leaving behind friends and family on a mission to get an engineering degree. You see, engineering might have offered an opportunity to build on strengths in math and science, or maybe it was an opportunity to get a technical profession. Whatever our reasons, what began as an individual pursuit, over time transformed into an identity we all shared. As we solved problems together and spent sleepless nights and days and nights and days cramming at the library, we transformed from classmates to colleagues to friends. And even one of you is my roommate. Today is a celebration of the time we spent together. To help reflect on this time, I've drafted a list of lessons that I think that we learned while at Concordia. Lesson number one, solution manuals help. But unfortunately, they are just no substitute for understanding. If solving thousands of math problems has taught us anything, it is that solution manuals were an extremely useful roadmap, but to tackle new problems successfully required creativity and the ability to find real meaning in numbers and variables. They tell us we are now entering the real world, which is full of unknowns, which, for where, which there will sadly be no solution manual for. But we can be confident knowing that our education has equipped us with the tools necessary to tackle those problems. Lesson number two, have the courage to ask for help. There's a common misconception that engineering is individualistic. And I would say we found the opposite. In tough times, we relied on each other for support. Through teamwork, we learned to trust in our peers and we discovered that collaboration takes us further than going it alone. As we enter the next chapter, we will face challenges. But thanks to engineering, we now understand the courage that it takes to ask others for help. Lesson number three, just Elon Musk. No one innovates like Elon. It's pretty awesome that we are graduating at a time that we have role models like him. What's great is that he has finally demonstrated that extreme technological power can be coupled with a deep sense of environmental and social responsibility. With unlimited access to information, communication, and crowdfunding, the world is mobilized and engaged around creative solutions to this century's problems. With so many of these voices at our fingertips, it is easier than ever for us to be true to our role as stewards of society. We now know how to make our design stand up to normal, sheer force, and bending moment, but now they also have to withstand the weight of criticism. So, if we want to innovate like Elon, 
let's talk to people and have the patience to listen to them. Lesson number four, when failure happens, don't quit, just try harder. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb said, I've not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. Engineering taught us that failure is inevitable, but we learned that with the right tools, we can manage it. We've learned from our mistakes and used them to fail forward. In school, failure helped to highlight times we hadn't mastered the material, but it did not mean that we were incapable of becoming engineers. As we get these degrees, I think we can perhaps say we've now succeeded and failed enough to become engineers. Today is as much a celebration as the fit, as the failure, excuse me, a celebration of our successes as the failures that we triumphed over to get here. <laughs> over the past four years, it often felt as though we were in our own great epic, the fellowship of the Iron Ring. Now, as we close this chapter and enter the next major installment of our own trilogies, we have to acknowledge our fellowships, the people who made this journey possible. Thank you to our professors for their knowledge and time, and especially to our friends, our partners, our families, and our parents. Thank you for your patience and support, whether it was, oh goodness, <laughs> financial or just a shoulder to cry on, and for understanding that getting an engineering degree is really not easy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd also like to acknowledge those who, for whatever reason, could not be here with us today, but who played pivotal roles in making sure that we made it here. Thank you so very much for believing in us. We hope that we made you all proud today. Okay. Finally, graduates, I hope that you will now take a moment to acknowledge yourselves and what an accomplishment this is that you've achieved today. Looking around when I was in the lobby today, this was the highest number of per capita smiles I have ever seen within the engineering department in the last four years. So, congratulations. My dear friends, it has been a privilege sharing these past four years with you. Thank you for allowing me the honor to address you today. After we leave those doors, many of us may never meet again. But I hope wherever your next adventure may take you, that it will be well beyond what you ever imagined possible. Congratulations, class of 2016. It's now time to celebrate. <laughs> Alexandra, thank you for your comments, your valedictorian address. I think you proved that passion and perseverance trump all. I think we agree. <laughs> <laughs>